Okay, so as you can see, my title and my speech is all about coffee. Um, I chose to talk about this because it's something that is really important to me. Um, I've talked about it in both of my previous speeches uh, because it's such a huge part of my life. It's kind of unhealthy, but uh, I guess you'll see. So, a couple of my main points are going to be when I first tried coffee and why I love it now. Um, a little bit on the history of coffee and the origins of it. Um, how coffee production works and popular types of coffee. So my personal experience, um, I first tried coffee in second grade. Um, so at the time I went to a public school and my grandma actually worked there. And um, I went into her little office at just a random point during the day. I probably wasn't allowed to do that, but I still did it. Um, and she had this little coffee cart and I got a cup of coffee and basically filled it with sugar and cream. So it was, I don't even know if you could call it coffee, it's probably just like coffee flavored milk at that point. Mm -hmm. um, but I did like it and I have grown to appreciate it even more, um, especially as a high schooler because it has gotten me through many all-nighters and um, helped me uh, to complete many assignments. Um, it's just that sort of little push of energy or a little pick-me-up. Um, yeah, so coffee helps me get through a lot of things. So a little bit on the history of coffee, just raising the tip of the iceberg on the origins. Um, so the most, or the oldest um, records we have of anyone having coffee is ancient legends and myths, specifically from Ethiopia and Central American um, regions. Um, so, the oldest kind of uh, record that I could find is a myth called the myth of the sheep and the Ethiopian farmer. Um, so basically the myth goes that this farmer could not get any sleep because his sheep were being so loud at night. And he found this tree that had these beans on it and he uh, ate the beans off of the tree. And um, spoiler alert, they were coffee beans. And he was able to get some actual good sleep that night because he had an energy spike and then he was tired. And then he decided, hey, if this makes me sleep, it could probably make the sheep sleep. So he ends up feeding the coffee beans to his sheep and they start going crazy and then they immediately like crash. Um, so this farmer is finally able to get good sleep because he gives his sheep coffee beans. Um, so Coffee started, like I said, around the Central Ameri America sort of regions, and it has recently become popular all over the world. Recently in world history, meaning the past like hundreds of years. So there are a couple different types of coffee. Um, different coffee beans come from different places. So the type of coffee that you want probably comes from a different region of the world. Um, because of the pH levels of the soil and the different minerals and things that, um, of the soil that they grow the coffee in. Um, the two main or most popular kinds of coffee beans are Arabica and Robusta. So Arabica is more of like a smooth, sweet type of coffee bean. And Robusta is, like the name, it's more robust, it's more rich. It has more of that coffee flavor. Um, and then Cafe cafedirect.co.uk um, records different amounts of coffee production from around the world. Most of it comes from Brazil. It's not even comparable, like a lot of it comes from Brazil. Um, but the second and third most uh, countries that produce coffee are Vietnam and Colombia. So some popular places where you can get coffee. Um, I chose two, Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. Um, because those are probably popular around our area. Um, so Starbucks Premium Instant Coffee is micro ground coffee made up of 100% Arabic, Arabica beans, all sourced from Latin America, and that was from Starbucks.com. Starbucks and Duncan also boasted its coffee comes from 100% Arabica beans from Central and South America, and that was from tasteofhome.com. So as you can see, around America, we tend to like the sweeter coffee. It doesn't even count as coffee. Um, and coffee can be served in many different ways. There's so many different types of coffee, like I couldn't even go over them all. Um, 
but some popular kinds are espresso, which is really strong coffee in smaller amounts. Um, lattes are coffee in three-fourths um, part steamed milk. There's all kinds of different things. You can have an affogato, which is two shots of espresso and two scoops of vanilla bean ice cream, which those are so good. If you haven't had those, you should try it because it's very good. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit on coffee. Thank you guys for listening to me, and I hope that you want to go out and try some coffee now. Thank you.